Hi, Debbie here. I have a little project share to show to well to share with you. I had ordered a kit from Jean Jean Rag a while back. It was for the little fabric teapots that she was selling, and um, and I had it for a while. And I just I just just couldn't get up the nerve to do it. Well, anyway, I had it sitting out on my dining room table for like two days before I could get up the nerve to even start working on it. Um, but anyway, I did, and I just wanted to show you what I've come up with. I didn't do anything on the back. I haven't done that yet, but I did start working on the front. So let me just, I'll just bring this up to you and show you what I, what I did so far. And she had a lot of laces and trims in her kit, and, and I didn't use, uh, you know, I had a lot left over. I just needed to bring that out just a little bit more so I could bring that up. The first thing I did was I just went around the whole edge of the whole little teapot with this with this um, trim, this Chinese, you know, braided trim. And I did that. And um, so let me see what else. I, let's start up here. And then with one of the trims that she had, I just cut a little piece off and attached it to the top of the teapot. See, and you can see how I didn't do the back. And you can see how I attached it just like that. And then this real pretty bling was part of her little kit, too. And I just put that there. I printed it, this out on my printer on fabric paper. And, um, and then I also printed out this little image, too. This is from Beatrice Potter. This is just a little mouse. Well, not a mouse. A little bunny. She's drinking her tea. So that's what I did here. And then I had this little trim and this little ribbon trim in my stash. And I just used that to wrap around the image. And then over here, this was actually part of the kit. This little um, teaspoon. It's like a charm. And she had a lot of other charms too. And I'm trying to figure out how I can attach them to this little teapot. But I haven't done that yet. And the butterflies. And this little trim down here was actually from Kathy's. It was Kathy's cards here on YouTube. She had sent this in with one of my giveaways when I was doing my little applique challenge. This was one of the little extra little things that she put in. Oh, and I love it. I love this trim. As a matter of fact, I actually just went online and ordered me some more because <laughs> it's just so pretty. And uh, let me see what else we've got here I can show you. Oh, this little stick pin here is from Julie. Now, Julie, I got it written down on a piece of paper so I don't say it wrong. Now, Julie is, shab is Shabby Happy Jewels here on YouTube. She also entered my little applique challenge, and she sent me these gorgeous stick pins. And this is just one of them, because I wanted to use that one, because it had the little teapot there. So anyway, this is what, what I did. And this just turned out just cute. And I didn't want to, you know, put too much on it, because I wanted you to see that it is a, a teapot. So I didn't want to over-embellish. So this is what I've done with mine. I just needed to show you, too, because... I think it's adorable. I, I think it's cute. I really like how it turned out because I was so scared to get started. I kept looking at everything on the table and I just, uh, I don't know why, but I was. But once I did the first, once I put the trim around it, I was good to go. But taking that first step was a little hard. So I just want to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.